Afternoon, everybody. Jeff Turner, Sales Channel Manager for Polypropylene Products here at McElroy. And today we're gonna to show you how to assemble the Acrobat with Quick Fit Carriage. Robbie and Anthony are here, and they're gonna show you how to take the jaws and get them on the cylinder and, and then get that carriage that they create onto the skid. It's gonna be a great next 20, 25 minutes for you. They're gonna show you how to do it. If you have any questions or thoughts or comments, please enter them in below. At the end, we'll be able to get to answer all those questions. We're excited to show it to you today. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Robbie and Anthony. Hi everyone. My name is Anthony Alvarez and helping me out today. Robbie Phillips. And today we're gonna to be putting together the Acrobat Quick Fit. Down here on the ground, you can see all the components that come inside of your box for the Acrobat Quick Fit. We've got the jaws, hydraulic cylinders, clamp knobs, um, guide rod sleeves. We're going to be putting all those components together in order to uh, assemble and create a three jaw carriage that will eventually put onto the four jaw skid for you guys. We've got all this stuff laid out on the ground, Robbie. Why, why do we have it laid out like this? Yeah, when we lay it out like this, we're setting ourselves up for success. We have our two inner jaws on the inside, the two outer jaws on the outside. Right, exactly. So you, how can you tell the difference between your two inner jaws and your outer jaws whenever you pull them out of the box? Yeah, a great indication of that is these little rests on the bottom. That's actually going to go into the skid that we'll show you in a moment. Absolutely. So we've got our, our carriage laid out here. Um, one important kind of thing to, to kind of give you as a, like as a check mark, um, so you know you're going on the right, the right path whenever you're laying this out, is you've got this fixed jaw support that doesn't have the top portion for a full jaw to go on there. That's where your hoses are going to be going out of. That's going to be how you know that you've got it, you've got it laid out in the correct fashion. So really what we want to do is we're going to slide the fixed jaw support, the outer fixed jaw, we're going to slide those out of the way and we're going to put these two inner jaws under the guide rods so that way we have a nice clean base to work with so me and Robbie aren't fighting each other so to speak. Let's go ahead Robbie, I'm, I'm going to move this fixed jaw support out of the way. Give, us, give ourselves a nice clean area to work with and I'm going to go ahead and take our inner movable jaw here. And I'm going to go ahead and help you feed this jaw through. Just like that. Okay. Now I'll just let that roll down to the ground. <coughs> we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now if you want, Robbie, go ahead and grab that other jaw. on there. Perfect. Perfect. So what we're doing here <clears throat> essentially is we've got our two inner jaws on. They're not clamped into place just yet. Uh, as you can see, but um, here in a moment, we're going to grab our clamps and we're going to start attaching these jaws to the actual carriage itself. So Robbie, if you could grab me a clamp, I'll show everyone how these, how these clamps actually function. So whenever you're working with the quick fit, you're going to have these clamps that are going to come with it, okay? And these are going to be what attaches the jaw to the actual carriage. And essentially how it works is you've got these pins on the on all of your jaws, all right, <clears throat> and that's going to be what the clamps actually latch onto. Um, the, the clamp will only go on there one way, um, so you can't get it on there backwards, and, it's, and the way you're going to know how to put your clamp on, see this little white spring here, this is always going to face the top middle of the carriage. So take your clamp, bring it together kind of to form a circle there. And then all I'm going to do is bring this little lever arm down underneath, and that's going to clamp this half of the jaw onto the guide rod. And then Robbie's going to do the same while I support the carriage. <clears throat> One big uh, piece of this is to make sure that your jaw is square and butted up completely against the cylinder, which we'll show you how that works here in just a moment. If you ever find yourself really struggling to get the clamps on there, most likely your jaw just isn't fully seated up against the back side of that cylinder. So let's show them what that looks like here, Robbie. <clears throat> so if we turn the machine kind of profile wise here, you can see how square and flush the back end of the cylinder is up to the jaw. Okay, there's not there's no gap right there. On this one, we've got a little bit of a gap. Okay, so we want to make sure that that is square and butted up all the way around 
the back end of this cylinder. Okay, that's going to make those those clamps go on there nice and easy. So if you find yourself fighting, you probably just need to line up your jaw to the back end of that cylinder. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put the clamps on our jaw back here. So let's spin it around actually, Robbie, so they can see what we're doing one more time. <coughs> okay. Robbie will hand me a clamp. He's got one himself. And then we're going to do the same thing. Spring to the top middle portion here. That goes right on, clicks into place. Okay. Um, one thing that you might, if you do install the jaws backwards, so to speak, these pins will be facing the actual cylinder itself. If you find those pins are facing the incorrect way, the clamps cannot be attached to it. All you have to do is pull the jaw off and flip it around 180 degrees. <clears throat> and then you'll be able to do what me and Robbie are doing by installing these clamps on there. So once we have, <coughs> once we have these two inner movable jaws clamped into place, let's flip it back around here. Okay. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to take our guide rod sleeves. Robbie, if you can grab one of those, show, show everybody what it looks like. Okay, what's the importance of these guide rod sleeves, Robbie? Why do we need these? Yeah, it's just going to set over our guide rod and actually allow our jaw brace right here something to brace against. Absolutely, yeah. That's going to help with the connection of that uh, fixed jaw support to the actual machine, and um, it's going to give it something to butt up against. Also, you notice these uh, guide rod sleeves have a connection up here at the top. Keep that connection at the top of your guide rod. That way, gravity kind of keeps it on there. If you flip it to the other side, it wants to, wants to fall down. So keep that joint right there at the top. And then I'll grab our, our fixed jaw support. Feed our hoses through it, just like so. And then same thing as before, we're gonna take our clamps and we're gonna install the jaw on. Um, with the clamps, still have to have the jaw nice and square. To, backed up to these guide rod sleeves, so make sure it's nice and square there. And another thing you can do is loosen out these threaded connections a little bit. That's going to help you give yourself a little more room to install these clamps and make your life a little bit easier. So we'll take our clamp, same thing as before, goes right over the pins and clicks into place. Whenever your clamp is on there, if it's still loose a little bit, feel free to thread that in and get it nice and snug up against that clamp. That way, <clears throat> that way it's nice and secure. So <clears throat> essentially Robbie's doing everything I just explained. He's putting his on. Usually what you're seeing us do is one clamp at a time. Um, reason we're doing that, we are doing that intentionally, kind of just helps the machine, um, you know, keeps it to where me and Robbie aren't fighting against each other, so to speak, where he's pushing on the machine and I'm doing the same thing and it's making our lives harder than it needs to be. You know, one clamp at a time and two guys, you know, usually when me and Robbie do this in a macro university setting, you know, we can get this thing together in five to six minutes. So the last thing we're going to do, let's flip it around again, Robbie. Take it this way and then we're going to grab our last jaw. Robbie will get that into position. He'll grab our guide rod sleeves. <coughs> Those will clamp into onto the guide rod, just like we showed you on the other side. It's the same exact operation. And then I'll take the clamp there, Robbie. And then we'll just lift up on it and place that final jaw on. Same, same type of connection as the other side. Got that threaded connection on there. You do the same thing. You can loosen it up a few turns, give yourself a lot of room there. That way you're not having to struggle with your clamp, pops right on, um, and then tighten it down. If you do thread this out too far, it will obviously it will come off the threads and come off the machine. It's not a big deal. Just thread it right back on and you're back in business. <clears throat> okay, so while Robbie's finishing up that final clamp, after once he completes that, we'll show you kind of the profile view, and then you're gonna have your three jaw fusion machine set up and ready to go for an overhead application or whatever you might be happening to doing on that specific job site. Just like all traditional acrobats, these top jaws do unpin just with these, these pins right here and then you can lift up your machine, put it up overhead um, or do whatever else that you need to do. At this point, Robbie, let's scoot the machine over here kind of to the left a little bit. 
uh, because what we're going to show you guys now is we're actually going to bring our fourth jaw in because right now we have it in a three jaw configuration. We're going to bring our fourth jaw in in the green skid that comes in the core package and show you guys how to make this uh, a, uh, a fabrication type unit that's just going to be doing work on the ground. Okay. So I'll grab our fourth jaw. The way you know it's the fourth jaw, it's going to have these green arms on it. Okay. Um, it will be the only jaw with those on it. So that's how you're going to know it's your, it's your fourth one. Okay. Robbie's grabbing our skid right now. <clears throat> Robbie, what's the, I'm looking at our skid here. We've got two, two holes in this side to attach the carriage and one on this side. How do we know how to attach the carriage and what configuration? Yeah, I'd be mindful. This is where your fourth jaw is going to go. And so you can see we're going to attach the fourth jaw to the carriage right there. So we want to be mindful to attach it to the skid in this kind of a configuration. We're just going to pick it up and set it right on it. Right. So let's, so I've always found the easiest way to do it is just grab the fourth jaw and just get it on there already. Make sure that you do have it facing the right way with the arms so they can come over and latch onto the carriage once it's on there. And then all we have to do is grab our three jaw carriage here and install it onto the actual skid. And the way you're gonna know which way to put it on there is these little green arms right here are gonna attach to these pins, okay? Coming out, of, coming out of your jaw. And only one jaw will have these pins located on it. That way, you know you're putting it on there in the correct, the correct way. So me and Robbie are gonna grab our machine here. All we're gonna do is pick up on it. Okay, and then it sits down into place. I'll kind of spin it here so everybody can see. And then how to attach that fourth jaw, you just spin your arm around and it will lock into place. So that's, at that point, you've got yourself a four jaw carriage that you're gonna be able to do groundwork with, you know, get all your prefab stuff done. And then at the end, use your lifting equipment to take it up overhead take that four jaw off, take the skid off, and then you're able to do that great overhead work and tie and work with the quick fit. Anything you want to add to that, Robbie? Anything um, you think we missed? No, it seemed a great presentation. Perfect. All right. Thank you guys very much.